last year we said cheerio to the Landover Defender by driving one through a two mile stretch of Atlantic Ocean, proving as if it needed to be proved that defenders are hard as nails. But you don't have to drive through the water to cross it. You might have seen videos on YouTube of 1000 horsepower 4x4s travelling across the surface of the water, New Testament style. This is the world of Formula Off-Road, or as they call it here in its home country of Iceland, the Torfira, where mad machines driven by even madder men compete over land and water for the Icelandic Championship. We're back at a Defender and heading towards Hetla, about an hour east of Reykjavik on Iceland's south coast, where the first round of the 2016 Championship is about to kick off. We'll be following the fortunes of defending champion Snorri Thor Arnason and his Chevy V8 powered beast, Choirboy. It makes a demonic chainsaw of a noise that would give Alan Jones an instant nosebleed, and it's so loud that rumour has it it might have caused that pesky ash cloud a few years back. The car wears huge super scoopers, customised dragster tyres from the USA, with giant rubber spades attached to help grapple through sand and clamber over rocks. They run at just 4 to 7 psi and cost £600 a piece. The tubular steel chassis wears adjustable shocks and has forklift sourced steering with just 1.2 turns between locks. Torque is split 50 50 between two truck axles, each of which houses a lock differential. The gearing is also offset so the front wheels turn a little bit faster for more responsive steering uphill and a braking effect on the way back down. It's a hodgepodge of tech cobbled together from across the motoring world to tackle Iceland's unique terrain. The engine is a GM LS3 V8 that's been stroked from 6.2 to 7 litres. 427 cubics, 7 litres. It has about uh, almost 700 horsepower. And we are running a little bit of nose. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We are running 90 horsepower with NOS. We can't go up to 400, but we don't need it. On the river and the mud, we go to 150. So it's, it's just control when you go to full throttle. You can always control because the full throttle is from zero to 100%, it's only three centimeters. So you can just uh, give it full gas and you can lift it around because we have a so lot of steering radius. We are running with two, two, two gears in transmission, power glad at the front, uh, different gear radio, so he spins the wheels faster, controls better upwards the, the hills, and uh, they're all, it's locked in the middle, so there's no diff in the, in the aluminium casing, so yeah, it's light, it weights uh, 1100 kilos. The other guys are from 1350 up to 2000 kilos. Quarter mile is 3.8 in first gear. So it's, yeah, it's quite fast. Maximum speed is 120. Choir Boy is a flyweight by Formula Off Road standards with more power per ton than a Bugatti Chiron. The competition takes place over two days in a 700 meter long sunken gravel pit goes a bit like this. Five technical stages and one timed stage on day one, then three technical, one timed, one water and one mud course on day two. That's assuming you and or your car don't expire first. Formula off-road in microcosm is multiple bouts of disaster interspersed with skill, power and drama. There's a great sense of camaraderie and all the teams help each other out while the whole entourage, marshals, crowd and classic rock blaring sound stack shuffle along between stages. The pit itself is a barren, weather-beaten wasteland of sand and boulders. There are also stubborn outcrops of volcanic rock jutting out horizontally along the rim of the pit for good measure. The shallowest slopes are about 35 degrees, that's almost twice the angle of the world's steepest public road. The further you get, the more points you bag, with deductions for clipping gates, stopping or, God forbid, reversing. The maximum score is 350 points. The timed tracks are much longer and more frantic. The fastest man scores 350 points and his rivals lose a point for every tenth of a second they lag behind. After 
10 stages, Snorri's leading his nearest competitor by just a few points. Then it's time for the water course. This is where Formula Off-Road goes into proper lunatic mode. These ton plus machines drive on the water, skimming like a stone with engines blaring. It's only always about the speed. So you have to get a good circle before the water. You have to get a straight line and then just hit it. <laughs> and hopefully you'll get over. <laughs> If the RPM goes down, you go down. If there is a deep water, you will sink. And uh, hopefully your engine will not uh, go as deep as the car, because if the air intake goes down, you are just with a ruined engine. Snorri nails the water course and in some style. That leaves just the final mod course to complete, which is basically a giant bog and drivers and cars alike end up completely saturated in mud within seconds. The judges tore off the scores, and Snorri's won by a mere 29 points. If you fancy going to Iceland to see this bonkers event in the flesh, you can even try it for yourself. For about 500 quid, you can buy a 10-minute hair-raising passenger ride in a Formula Off-Road Taxi of Terror. Or, if like me, you're quite happy watching, I'll see you there.